What's up guys and welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Sheika and today I am back with another video. So guys, I am going to, I'm actually cooking right now, so I'm going to show you how I do my over jerk pork. Yes, it is not authentic jerk pork but it's over jerk and it's very close. Yeah guys, so just stay tuned, remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. So right here I have my pork, it's seasoned from overnight so it's well marinated, there it is. So for the pork, what I use to season it is... I use some all-purpose seasoning, just a little bit of this black pepper, some meat seasoning, and I use this jerk sauce, yes, this jerk seasoning, and also I did make some marinade, some blended season, and I use it also. And I did use some dry pepper so you can see the pepper greens because you know I love spicy yeah so all you need to do now is to transfer the pork into this pirate dish so this is what the pork is looking like so you just want to place it in so you want to ensure that none of the liquid isn't going inside the pirate dish because you don't need that And there you have it you don't want it to be too close so so normally I usually use some red label wine or red stripe to just soak up this a bit but today I don't have any so I'm just going to skip that but as it relates to this you can just take the seasoning parts and you just spread it on it but you don't need the liquid just the season because you are jerking you're not boiling so for the first round you will need to cover it Because I want to ensure that it's soaked properly. And this is what we're working with now. So I already preheated my oven. I preheated it at 170 degrees Celsius but if you're using a Fahrenheit stove you would use 360 degrees so now I'm just going to put this in and I'm going to let it stay for one hour first So we're going to jerk it for one and a half up to two hours. So first you're going to cover it. So I'll cover it for one hour. So guys right here 
I just finished my rice and peas. And that is what it's looking like. Can y'all see that? Very nice. See my green pepper. <laughs> Very nice and chilly. That's how your rice and peas should look, right? I think it's about 10 o'clock now. Today is Sunday and I'm almost through with my cooking. So yeah. That is it and that is done. So I will check back with y'all within an hour time. So guys, it is one hour time now, so one hour later. Woo! So you're just removing the foil and this is what it's looking like. Yeah. It spring some water. So what you can do is just spread it because you want the pork to be moist, right? And it's almost done. See? It's almost done. So now I'm just going to put it back in the oven and I'm not going to give it a full hour, I'm going to give it 45 minutes. So guys, off. So after it's finished, then I will check back again. So guys, I am finished now and this is what it's looking like. Trust me, y'all need to try this. So I'm going to put it on my cutting board to cook. Cut it up because you don't know. You jerk and a jerk until you chop it up, right? You just want to ooh, chop it up like that. Guys, let me show you this. This is the bone, right? You see how easy it come off? You see that? Yeah. Look, you see that? That's how you know it's properly done. Mm. 
my oven jerk pork. So guys, that is, this is how it looks, right? As I said before, it's not authentic jerk, but it is somewhere there, right? It tastes like jerk and everything, so what else do you need? So guys, so guys, you've made it to the end of my video i hope you learned something and i hope you like my oven jerk pork yes i know it's the best right <laughs> anyways guys i just want to say thank you for stopping by and go on over this so go watch some more of my video yeah and remember to follow me on instagram at slaybay underscore slims and you know as always it will be right here on the screen so yeah, just remember to like, leave a comment, and share up the video and subscribe. See y'all in my next video.